Wayne Roush takes second go. place. And I mean, he has that truck competitive already. This has been a weekend in Bowling Green that young Mark Hare will not soon forget. He came into town as the leader in the 1987 point standings, only to blow a motor last night. He was unable to compete and lost the points he needed to stay on top. He's back tonight, and he has to have a good showing to stay alive in the points race. He's had a remarkable season, but you have to wonder if he can keep it up. Keeping your equipment in good running condition is one of the major challenges in this sport. These rates have to take an incredible amount of abuse. for Mark Hare. His engine locked up on him just off the line, but 75 feet or more constitutes an official run, and he's just over the mark. Oh, man. What a, that's, that's a tough way. You can However, hear the you judges can, decide that he made a valid attempt to stop before crossing the 75-foot mark, then he may be allowed to pull again. Judge for yourself from the replay. Seventy-five feet of leeway is allowed to protect the driver and his machine from the momentum of the big sled. Even though he crossed 75 feet, the officials are going to allow Hare to pull again. The question is, how bad is the breakdown? And will he be able to make repairs in time? The track has been a factor tonight. It seems to have a distinctive pull to the right. We've had two excellent runs disqualified for being out of bounds on the right side. As the event goes on, it will get broken in. But for now, these pullers are lining up the sled very carefully. Wayne Roush is holding down second place with his earlier run in the yellow hot rod. Now he'll pull again in the little red truck. Roush is a veteran puller in several divisions, and he's always a force to contend with at Bowling Green. It's a dandy, and this guy here has just got this truck a-humming, too, with the... Big Chrysler Hemi, that's all he'll run, is a Chrysler Hemi. Wayne Roush, Dublin, Ohio. The little red truck runs out of power at the 244-foot mark. A disappointing run for Wayne Roush, but still, he holds second place with his first run. Here's Dave Linker in one of the hottest looking machines on the Redman TNT circuit. The Linker Brothers Corvette looks impressive for sure, but does it have the power? The bad dog is still on top. David Linker, Linker Brothers, great flag is up. That'll be it for the Lincoln Brothers. All right, you take your helmet off. Well, Davey Linker has a brand new Corvette car here for 1987. And Davey, it was a straight run, but not far enough. What happened? Uh, I don't know. I think I'm just, my motor's a little bit fat right now, and I think I'm just running out a little bit of power. I, I'm a little bit short on cubic inch anyhow, but I'm just, I think the motor is just a little bit tight right now. Guys are saying they're having a little trouble coming off the line. Uh, I didn't have too bad of a tr problem coming off the line. I held it from bouncing pretty well, but uh, I think that's just more coming out of the hole evenly. Got no throttle, coming off with the throttle steady, steady pressure on it. Nice to have you here at Bowling Green. Thank you very much. 
Chris Holdorf is up for his run in the Ford Taurus. In the first run in the Arrowgator was disqualified for going out of bounds, and he's determined to take it all this time. He doesn't waste any time hooking up. He's hot about that first run, so look out. Chris Polar, one of the very tough competitors in the country. Oh, he's close. All right, this is going to be, it looks like, good for second place. you got to be happy. Uh, not really, but, uh, you know, Bowling Green's a place to be, so here I am. They love you here tonight. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Chris Holdor from Winter Park, Florida. of the most powerful sport on earth with a TNT membership. Get 12 issues of Power Tracks, the monthly pulling magazine, a Redman TNT pulling cap, a TNT Motorsports patch, Redman and TNT decals, plus a 10% discount card on all mail order purchases. Send check or money order for $24.95 to this address or charge it to your Visa or MasterCard by calling 1-800-227-3167. Order now. Millions of miles and millions of cars, more of them every year. They're riding on Kendall Motor Oil, that's what I hear. Every year, people like racing champion Big Daddy Don Garlitz rely on the protection and quality of Kendall Motor Oil. Don Garlitz and Kendall Motor Oil, year after year. Kendall, protection worth its weight in gold for more than a hundred years. The modified 4x4 trucks have battled across the country this summer on the Redman TNT circuit. Manuel Marino and his Texas Rose Chevrolet use superior power, more than 700 cubic inches, to win the points title and a new Chevy pickup truck. Close competition came from the father-son team of Bob and Scott Smith and their Three Bears Chevy. Rounding out the top five are Jerry Weaver, Willie Umps, and Jim Lyons. The Redman TNT 88 Winter Nationals kick off in January at St. Paul, Minnesota, Daytona Beach, Florida, Charleston, West Virginia, Biloxi, Mississippi, Atlanta, Georgia, Roanoke, Virginia, Indianapolis, Indiana, Tallahassee, Florida, Memphis, Tennessee, San Antonio, Texas, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Salisbury, Maryland, and Little Rock, Arkansas. All coming your way in January with the Redman TNT All-American Pulling Series. Spike is back. We're still not sure what the problem was, but it must not have been as severe as some were speculating. Mark Hare blew a motor last night, was unable to run again, hurting him badly in the point standings. Tonight, after a controversial first run, he has come back. He has to take this one, go home happy about his weekend in Bowling Green. blower belt what actually happened on the line well the drive line cup uh, shielding fell off was banging on the coupler we thought it come loose there we got the check and the blower belt was completely loose on the motor uh, we didn't think there was nothing wrong with the motor because I come out of it and it was still driving so we went back checked it out found what was the problem I'm just tickled to death come oh. back and make this right oh, you didn't have a long time to study the track either you lined it up and just nailed it yep 
That's all he could do. That's all he could do. That's all it took, ladies and gentlemen. They're happy here in Bowling Green for him. Congratulations, Mark. Thank you. All right. There are only two left. Both are real threats to Harris' full pull. First up is James Walsh in the Big Green Irish Challenger. track might be improving a little bit or how would you how would you rate the track conditions at this point uh, i think so i think the track's getting better as it goes along i really think so yeah. well, congratulations you've had a big day here today at bowling green this is this is good for me I really, this is all right the last chance goes to jim lyons and stitches lyons and Hare have fought it out all summer in the point standings if anybody can take spike stitches can good after the problems you had last night then coming down there on the line everything let loose as you explained earlier this evening after your second run just makes it all worthwhile huh yeah the win here it really does it was tough to, to break last night and lose you know lose out on the points like that but uh this makes it worthwhile you still got a lot of work to do there to catch jim there but uh we're going to try. We ain't done yet. And the points race is oh so close on the Redman TNT All-American Series. It sure has. It's been bouncing back and forth all summer there, but uh, we're not done yet. We're still coming. Congratulations and good luck the rest of the year in the Redman TNT All-American Series. Thank you, Dave. All right, a very happy guy here at Trackside.